Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful people, this is Call of Duty Fanatics. Welcome back to another Warzone report. And probably, as you already know, Mid-Season 3 Update or Season 3 Reloaded is live with some very interesting things to be explored in Verdansk. And in this video, we are going to cover how to complete the Survivor Camp mission. Now, there is basically a new addition uh, to the map, which is called Survivor Camps, where you basically are hunting for the Rambo uh, dog tags. And basically what you need to do is to activate the tree tags or co uh, collect the tree tags in order to finish uh, one of the quests for this event. Um, the question is also where are these survivor camps there are a total of 10 survivor camps in the, on the map and the easier way for you to find out where they are is to go to the airport bunker or hangar number 21 now that's the CIA outpost that's also a brand new addition to the game this interior was not uh, filled in like it's now you see there's a lot of computers here a radio and a map in the middle you can interact basically with this map and when it's finished updating you can open your tag map and as you can see you will see um, a green um, circles which are basically pointing you toward the survivor camps now there's also one very important thing for you to know is that you can collect only one tag per round so beware, because if the player, other player comes before you, you won't be able to collect the tag. So the quickest way to do this is every time when you collect the tag, just quit the match, go to another match and uh, visit one of the camps randomly. So there is no pattern here. For example, look at in this case, I had a lock that I picked the first camp that was from the military base and I basically got one of the tags immediately. The next one, I was also very lucky. Um, I choose the tag and the survivor camp that was in the trailer and Activision was hinting all the time this uh, survivor camp near the summit. So I just went there to see uh, how this new uh, POI is looking and I was very surprised that I basically got the dog tag immediately over here and I actually done this I wasn't even aware what I need to do so as you can see dog tag was here and I basically finished uh, and collected my second uh, dog tag so one of the last ones I was looking for let's say an hour because on every camp I respond there was simply nothing uh, there but fortunately I decided uh, to land on a camp near the port and you will see in a couple of moments the dog tag was waiting for me over there so i will just repeat a couple of things you can only collect one dog tag per round and if another player gets there before you uh, you won't be able to collect it anymore so you just go out and plunder is the best and the quickest way to do this and then as you can see I got the notification that mission is accomplished and uh, basically I got this uh, fancy calling card, uh, Rambo calling card. Also I got a crossbow here as a kill streak, which is absolute blast. It's very very powerful and you will see in a couple of moments I experimented a little bit and first I took this on a Berta truck and look at this, bang, gone. So this truck was damaged indeed, but uh, this fire crossbow or explosive crossbow is so powerful, like it's going to be a great addition to the game, especially if you need to get yourself out of the sticky situations, etc. I also wanted to test it on a car to see how many crossbows you need in order to uh, destroy a car or other vehicles and also take a note that you get in total six of the crossbows um, and after that your kill streak is expired and look at this one and uh, 
Second one will come in a moment. I was waiting for the car maybe to explode. So you see, half of the damage is done with the one crossbow, which is kind of um, high damage. It's still not as Rocket is, or Pila, or uh, Sigma, but still it's, it's very, very, very powerful and great addition to the game. Now, when, we, when I was talking about these uh, survivor camps, there's also very interesting things there. Like if you explore them a little bit deeper, there is a lot of radios around, handheld radios as well, and uh, some other devices, which points out that we might be using those survivor camps in the development of the situation or further development of situation in Verdansk or maybe we will have some particular tasks to do over there because I highly doubt that they put these survivor camps only because of these dog tags that's completely unrealistic but you never know with Activision they are quite unpredictable lately so maybe they done all of this cosmetics just um, so you can finish this uh, dog tag or survivor camp mission which would be a little bit annoying I would say and now I will also show you the map of the all locations of the survivor camps as you can see they are marked green on your screen and as I said before there is total of 10 survivor camps and only one hides the dog tag and you don't need to activate this uh, every time in the game you don't need to go in the CIA uh, outpost or a camp or the bunker uh, because even if you don't activate the map you can still find the dog tag so I will suggest you that you basically use the map I just provided and every time you go to plunder get inside the game drop at one of the camps if you have a dog tag brilliant if not quit and start over now this is also an interactable um, I would say map where I'm basically showing you all the locations a little bit zoomed in and I hope it's going to be beneficial for you anyways uh, that would be all for today I hope you enjoyed uh, this small report and tutorial how to finish this please let me know what do you think about Warzone season 3 reloaded in a comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future great Call of Duty content until next time my fellow Verdansk citizens I wish you all the best and stay frosty.